I've got some tracer particles here in, in solution, sort of like food coloring. And I'm going to put a, a, a drop of these tracer particles on the film. This is after the film has had a chance to quiet down. Uh, motion has pretty much been fine within a two-dimensional plane, uh, and it allows you to look at at viscous flow in the laminar region uh, in a two-dimensional manner without having to worry about flow in a third direction. So after I put these tracer particles in the film, I'm going to stick a Teflon cannula through the film and start stirring it up and watch the effect of the rotation. And just from that little stir, this ain't will sit there and rotate for about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll, I'll show a few minutes of the early rotation like this when it's rotating fairly fast. And then I'll go into time-lapse mode where I time-lapse it over about 20 more minutes showing what the final effect is. But uh, you can see that the, the flow is laminar here and the tracer particles are very slow to diffuse and show nice uh, streamlines that hang around for tens of minutes. And Don, we're, uh, we're watching that and uh, it, that is a great uh, video. That is such a, such a cool phenomenon that you're showing us here. And you end up with spiral lines because the rotational flow will uh, we don't know what we're supposed to say there. Copy. And uh, it, it looks rotational like rotational flow will do something that, that we don't really know what. <laughs> it looks like you're making a record there or something. There's time lapse mode, and this is a half a second every 30 seconds uh, frame time. And you can see as time goes on, the lines do get more and more diffuse as diffusion uh, plays its uh, role and stirred fades up. And I let this run overnight time lapse. Uh, unfortunately, the battery died on the camcorder, uh, and, but by morning, the whole film was just a, a nice uniform uh, milky white color, so the fusion had taken its role. And uh, it looks like we have a jellyfish up there.